What's up, guys? It's David coming at you from Organic Prize Books with a new uh, reprint release from Marvel's Omnibuses. Today we're looking at Spider-Man Ben Reilly, Volume 2. We got Volume 1 last month. We're already getting Volume 2 coming in strong. That's great. If you've been wanting to collect this, that's awesome for you. Because bang, bang, back to back like that, you get to enjoy the story in its fullness. Uh, and we're here for it. Let's take a look at it. So this is the standard right here. Here's the front, spine, and the back. Very cool. And here is the DM right here. This one is really, really cool because it kind of is a wraparound. Uh, now this one is sealed because we have all our orders already set to go out. So I actually have to put this back after I'm done recording with it. But if you see it, it kind of wraps around this part, even though it has the logo, it's faded or it's uh, uh, transparent, like dark, but you can see where the fireball is going through because it connects to right here where that is going through. So I'm gonna shoot fast, wham! So it's like that. Boom, he's throwing the fireball. Oh, it's about to hit them. So that's really cool. It's another uh, of JRR's or JRJR's uh, artwork from John Romita Jr. And this one is as well. So both of these are great. I really like this one. I just like this cover with uh, the Green Goblin looking so menacing and having both of the the Spider-Man like in his hands, like, you know, I won. But I actually really, really like this wraparound. So I'm stuck between which one I want for these covers. I can't choose, I really can't. Seriously, the wraparound on this is so cool. You get amazing artwork from John Romita Jr., which is great. This one also gives me artwork from John Romita Jr., which is awesome, but it doesn't have the wraparound. So whichever cover you get, you're gonna have fun with it, you're gonna enjoy it. Uh, and like I said, I couldn't pick. Now, there is one thing I do need to tell you. This one, uh, the book doesn't have the covers at the very end, so most of the books will have the covers at the very end. These ones don't. I'm not sure why they didn't choose to include them, but there's no covers at the end in the extras aspect of it. So what you have is just kind of like, on the standard, you get all of the covers right here but you don't get that in the DM cover. So if you wanted to see the covers, you have to get the standard one because there's no extras in the back of this book. Weird, I don't know why they, picked, they decided to do that. Um, but yeah, just saw that because I did the, I do the top down look first and then I show you the book like this. So going through it, there's no extras included in that. So just giving you a fair warning. Um, all right, now let's take a look underneath the dust jacket. And this, oh, I really like. I really do enjoy this. This looks so cool. It's kind of uh, just, you know, drawings of Spider-Man in black with the red background, this mad red. It looks great. Um, now the the first Ben Riley one had uh, him fighting, so I have that here just so I can show it to you both. And it had him like swinging like this. So it had him like that. So this is the the volume one. So. I kind of wish there was a little bit more consistency between them, but that's okay. Let me also show you what they look like with uh, the books together so that you can also, you know, make an informed decision on which one you want to get. This is volume two, this is volume one, and the dust jackets together, uh, or the spines together, kind of look like this. Boom. Oh, this one is a little, yeah, there we go. So they're pretty uniform, uh, which is great. And then you have, of course, the different figures down here. This is what it looks like with that, uh, the different Spider-Man here that with the wraparound cover. I don't have the other one since the one I had, uh, we had to put or send it out to somebody. So I don't have the, I believe this is the standard, the DM one. But there you go. So if you do get the DM, then you're gonna have a different color on the spine right here. So just be aware of that as well. Um, yeah, so just keep that in mind, you know, when you get it. But let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Spider-Man Ben Riley Volume 2 and what is inside of this clone.
here we go again red cover so nice and here we go all the people who contributed to this this one's for you guys very nice semi gloss like we're used to thickness standard for omnis especially for 1304 pages you definitely uh, want to keep it not too thin but thin enough that you know the books aren't super thick uh, edge to edge as you see for the paneling no white no near well some, for, some at the bottom but none on the rest of it which is great that means that format is modernish and it looks really really good let me tell you a little bit about these books a tale of two spider-men as Ben Riley starts to get into the swing of his new role as the sensational Spidey, Peter Parker continues to adapt to a life without powers, with a baby on the way. And things are more about to get even more complicated with this pair of blood brothers, when a shadow from Ben's past casts new doubt on his identity, and Peter is left gravely ill in a hospital bed. A host of familiar foes take on an unfamiliar wall crawler, including Boomerang, Jack-o'-lantern, Will-o'-wisp, Hobgoblin, The Lizard, Mysterio, Scorpion, Molten Man, Hammerhead, Tombstone, The Looter, and Swarm. But when the fury of onla Onslaught shakes the Marvel Universe, Ben must fight a lot outside his weight class against the Sentinels. Meanwhile, he continues to make new friends, teaming up, teaming up with the Daredevil, the Avengers, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Gambit, and Howard the Duck. But as Ben and Peter grow ever closer to unraveling the twisted conspiracy that has manipulated them both for years, the identity of the shadowy madman pulling their strings will shock them both to their core. Mary Jane goes into labor, and a vengeful villain makes his return. Lies are exposed, truths are revealed, and sacrifices are made. Who will wear the webs as the, scrawling, as the sprawling clone tanga reaches the, its cataclysmic conclusion? Plus, take a peek behind the curtain at what could have been with alternate endings to the epic story, and whatever, whatever happened to Carrion. There you go. So we're going to get to see a lot of interactions between them. Listen, mullet Peter Parker? Pff, that, that guy... That guy, he has Riz. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Riz. I'm hip with it. I, I know the lingo, guys. Uh, but yeah, you're definitely getting into that 90s artwork style uh, with the proportions, as you can see on some of these. Um, but overall, it looks really good. Hopefully, you know, this completes your collection if you got number one of the Ben Riley. Uh, Omnibuses that we had earlier. Oh, this is so cool. It's nice. I kind of wish they would have done this on the spread in the back. But, I mean, at least you get part of that for the, the uh, or, you know, most of it for the uh, dust jacket. So, very cool. All right. Let's take a look at some of the extras that are in here. Okay. Still the story. So... Still story. Okay, so it's very little. It's it's practically one page. There's no real extra covers or anything like that, which kind of sucks. I kind of like the covers that are on there. I guess you get to see it on the back of the book for the um, the standard, I want to say. But yeah, that's it. There you go. So there it is, guy Ben Riley, uh, Ben Riley Omnibus Spider-Man Ben Riley Omnibus Volume Two. Let me know if you're gonna pick this up. Uh, check it out at your grand price books, guys, and I will see you in the next one.